Hey guys, I'm Duke Korean and I'm going to show you how I make my nitric acid. You're probably here because you too want to make some nitric acid yourself. Maybe you want to do some experiments that requires nitric acid. Maybe you want to get yourself some nice tan to impress your girlfriend. Or perhaps you need it for some other naughty reasons to probably get you arrested. Well, whatever it is, if you're doing something similar to what I'm doing today, please wear goggles, gloves, and do this in a well-ventilated area. Also, it's your responsibility to avoid doing anything stupid. Obviously, you could seriously harm yourself or others very easily with these chemicals. Anyways, I'll be using copper nitrate to make the acid. Although the method is very well known, I want to give credit to NerdRage since this method is very similar to the one he used in one of his videos. So the method itself is actually pretty simple, but you'll need some chemicals that's usually sold as fertilizers. If you don't have copper nitrate, you'll need calcium nitrate and copper sulfate. If you already have copper nitrate, you can go ahead and simply distill it for some nitric acid. Since I don't have any copper nitrate, I'll have to mix them. First, I dissolve 157 grams of calcium nitrate tetrahydrate in water. Then I got 166 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate and also dissolved it in water. Afterwards, I mix the two solutions together and wait it for the reaction to finish. The two salts will go through a double displacement reaction to make copper nitrate which will stay in the solution and calcium sulfate as a precipitate since it's nearly insoluble in water. I spent a decent amount of time filtering out the calcium sulfate. Calcium sulfate in its pure form is white, so I tried to rinse off the copper nitrate as much as I could until I felt it was good enough. These are the resulting copper nitrate solutions from the reaction. First, I distilled off the excess water until the solution started to show this sort of dark greenish color. Then I let the solution cool down and crystallize while I set up my distillation apparatus. This is my setup for the distillation process. I'm pretty broke, so the quality of my setup is pretty laughable, I'm not gonna lie. First, I have this distillation flask connected to some sort of rubber tube, which is then connected to this cheap condenser I got from a Chinese website. I cut off the finger part of a plastic disposable glove and use rubber bands to connect the condenser with another distillation flask. This is where the condensed nitric acid will drop down. Also, I used a plastic bag, rubber band, and a tube to bubble the nitrogen dioxide into a solution of hydrogen peroxide is to prevent nitrogen dioxide gas being wasted. Since I didn't have any stoppers, I bought this wine plug and used rubber bands to make the diameter of the plug thicker so that the plug would fit perfectly into the distillation flask. Lastly, I took off the shower head in my bathroom and used it as a water pump for my condenser. I really did not expect the setup to work that well, and I was pleasantly surprised to see it work really well. I pour some of the acid into your beaker, and as you can see, it will probably have some sort of bluish tint to it. You can simply distill it to purify the acid. I had a lot of fun making this video, and if you guys have any ideas I could do in the future, please comment down below. Thanks for watching.